CPC Kids, and welcome to our new series, Blueprints. Today, our big idea is God's plans are perfect, and we will be reading about the time when Jesus cleared the temple from John 2, verses 13 through 22. Next Sunday, March 14th, we will begin our Kids Connection worship service out on the patio. We hope to see you there so that we can worship together in person. And now it's time for our video lesson. really cool video about construction and I learned so many new things. Do you know what these vehicles are called? This one is called a bulldozer. It pushes dirt and rocks around. What about this one? This is a crane. It's really tall and it helps lift and move things around. Okay, last one. This is called an Excavator. Excavators are used for digging. I thought to myself, I really wouldn't mind being a builder, but I love to sing too. So I wouldn't mind being a singer also. They have the coolest jobs. Singers, if you're good, can travel the world singing and tour with famous people. They also get lots of gifts and flowers and fans. Or what about the president? I kind of think I could be a great one. I can make the world a better, more loving place. Or I could be the person who decides what the national holidays are. I'd really like to have more days where we celebrate things like donuts and ice cream. There are so many things we can do and become. How about you? What do you want to learn about while you're growing up? because I really want to learn about a lot of different things. I have an idea. Uh, let me call my buddy, Gavin. Oh, hey, Callie. Hey, Gavin. What are you up to? I'm playing video games with my little brother. How about you? I'm here trying to decide what I want to learn first, you know, to get ready for growing up and stuff. You do love to act. Maybe you can be an actress. Maybe. I'm so confused. What do you want to do when you grow up? I think I want to be an astronaut. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Maybe I can learn about space with you. How do you think we need to plan to become astronauts? There must be some steps on the internet somewhere. Oh, but I'm not sure. I was getting ready to read a Bible story. Maybe it would give us some clues about where to start. My Grammy always told me the Bible has the greatest plans in it. Sounds good to me. Let's hear it. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn about a festival that the Jewish people held to celebrate the time when they were freed from being held captives as slaves and forced to work for the Egyptians. It's called Passover. How long were they captive? It probably lasted for about 400 years. So someone could have lived a whole life and never been free to choose what they would do with their life. Rescue was a big deal to them. They celebrated how God created a plan for their freedom and rescued them from being stuck in Egypt. So they probably know about following a plan. They sure do. They didn't always like the plan and they didn't always follow it either. But when they did, when they trusted God with the plans that promised their freedom, they found a way out. They probably dance and have lots of fun. You bet they do. They celebrated then and they celebrated now. When Jesus was celebrating Passover, Jesus noticed some of the ways that the people had started to ignore God's plan again. Sometimes it upset him to see this happening. During one Passover, Jesus was there and noticed how things in the temple didn't match God's plans. Oh no, how did they get off track? There are people in the temple courts selling animals that people could use as offerings. Jesus was so upset because people were being greedy and trying to make money off of people who were coming to the temple to worship. Yikes, what did Jesus do? 
Jesus flipped over the tables in the temple courts and told the people to leave. He even drove the animals away. Oh wow, Jesus was angry. The people were wondering what right Jesus had to do this. Jesus showed that he was sent by God by saying that if they destroyed the temple, he would rebuild it in three days. All by himself in three days? Jesus was actually talking about himself and the bigger and better plans God had for them. That one day, Jesus would die and after three days come back to life so that God's plans could work for everyone to be reconnected and forgiven. That sounds like a good plan. Jesus knew the plan all along and it was a much better plan than we could have created on our own. Like the blueprints a builder uses to manage the construction of something new, God has plans too. That story was really amazing. It really was. I learned a lot too. You tell me what you learned first, and I'll tell you what I learned. <laughs> okay, I learned that maybe I don't need to rush to decide on what I want to do when I'm grown up. Your turn. I learned that God had a good plan for the people of Israel, and God has a good blueprint for us too. Every day is a new chance to look for clues and discover God's plan. Wow, Gavin, you are smart and really wise. Talk later. Sounds great. Bye, Callie. That was an amazing story. Right, friends? I think it's best for me to keep growing. And when the time is right, God will tell me what to do because God's plans are perfect.